What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So we are finally back with macOS beta update and today we have a brand new macOS 13 Ventura update which is developer beta 4. For public beta testers could be available later on in the week. Now for me this update comes in actually as a big file but it comes after two weeks and six days after we saw the release of beta 3 and you can see for me here on the update pane that the update size shows up as 1.9 8 gigs but upon downloading this update the size changed to about a gig extra and you can see here while downloading the update that the size increased to 2.82 gigs from 1.98 8 gigs now obviously this is not all that apple released today in fact if we go to the apple developer page here you'll be able to see some other updates that were released today by apple so the first one is ios 16 beta 4 right here and then there was also ipad os 16 beta 4 and mac os 13 beta 4 of course this is the video for that and it's interesting to note that watch os 9 beta 4 wasn't released today so most probably tomorrow and also today tvOS 16 beta 4 was released those are most of the updates that came out today and here on the channel at half men half tech i actually do cover most of these operating systems or updates and more so if you want to keep up to date and know what's changed with apple softwares and with your devices and get to understand them better then a sub to the channel would definitely be appreciated now since i've already updated my device that you're seeing here let's go into our system settings and see what are the new changes that come with this update so if we go to where it says about you'll be able to see the new build number that we have with this update and you can see it's version 13.0 of course and the build number here is 22A5311F now this build has an F at the end and in terms of stability come from coming from Mac OS 13 beta 3 we took three steps in the positive direction as on beta 3 the build number that we had was 22A5295I so we went from an I to an F now let's look at the first new features and changes that came with this update the first one that I want to show you has to do with the change when you enter into stage manager here so you can see that we now have a brand new splash screen compared to beta 3 and it will tell you what stage manager is and it will have like a ui or a splash screen that's showing you what you can do with stage manager so that is something that's new coming from mac os 13 beta 3 and then also since i was just showing you what other softwares were released today from safari if you go to the about safari section here you will see that safari has been updated when it comes to mac os 13 beta 4 so the version of course is still safari version 16 but the build number has been updated and the build that we have here is 18 is 18614.1.22.1.2 so that has been updated from the beta 3 build that was 18614.1.19.15 so most of the issues that safari users were experiencing and thank you so much for reporting those issues in the feedback assistant app so some of the issues that this build aims at resolving when it comes to safari is opening extra windows when you open up safari initially and then also reverting back to previous pages and there was also an issue in safari when playing hdr videos and also there was an issue when it comes to tab group reordering issue that has been resolved with this update so that's something that i thought i should just let you know and also when it comes to this update it just seems more responsive compared to you know the other updates that i was using coming from mac os 13 beta 3 when it comes to the mail app you can see here that i just opened up the mail app and i was just sending an email to myself testing to see some of the changes that this update introduces and if you go to the mail and go to where it says settings 
and go to where it says composing you can see that now we have ascending and just under the sending section we have undo send delay and now we have an option to actually change that timer from 10 seconds to as far high as 30 seconds so this is a new option and it's just something that's good and has been added now also something that has been updated with mac os 13 beta 4 if you open up your messages app you can see again i was just sending these messages to myself just to test and see so now as you can see here these are edits that i've made to this single message if i can hide the edits and this is the final a message that i ended up sending so something to note here is that the time limit for unsending messages has dropped from 15 minutes to about two minutes and edits are limited to five edits and each edit is visible and if you want to see the edit that you previously did you can click here where it says edited and you can see that you can count the number and you see one two three four five edits maximum and if you try to edit again or double tap or right click you'll be able to see that you don't have the option to edit and this as long as the person or the recipient is on ios 16 or mac os 13 they will they also will be able to see this on their end of the device so that's just something that's good when you open up desk view for the first time we now have a new pop-up screen that sort of explains what desk view is and the ui and animation is sort of showing you what you can do and that has been updated from the previous beta that we had with mac os 13 also if you go into your system preferences and go to where it says siri and spotlight the siri activation prompt sound has been updated to that which is similar to what we have on ios 16 so those seems to be most of the new features and changes that i hear when it comes to mac os 13 ventura developer beta 4 i will be looking out for more and if i do find some that require a video then definitely i'll be posting one so there are also some new fixes that come with this update and the first one that i would like to let you know has to do with the calendar app so if you were having issues synchronizing your calendar to your account and you would go to your account and the way it would not sync to your icloud or to your gmail that has been fixed with this update also there's a fix when it comes to an apple application that came with mac os 13 and it has to do with the clock app where one was unable to type digits in the timer box so you can see here if i go to the timer section here i can actually type numbers right there and you can see that this is actually working and unlike what was there on beta 3 this issue has been resolved there's also a fix when it comes to DVD player, specifically for Intel based Macs. So you can see for me, I'm able to open it. And since I'm on Apple Silicon, this is something that you can try out if you have an Intel Mac and see for yourself that this issue has been resolved so we'll close up dvd player and then also when it comes to game controllers i'll be happy to let you know that this update fixes issues that were there when it comes to the dual shock 4 and dual sense wireless uh, that were not functioning properly when it comes to game controllers and then also when it comes to the apple mail app i'll be happy to let you know that there's a resolved issue with improved search and recommendation within the mail app and you can further advanced filter the categories that you can search within the mail app there's also an issue that has been fixed when it comes to the stocks app or widget rather so if that's a widget that you use and sometime your watch list widget would not load up properly that issue has been resolved with this update now there are quite a number of issues that have been fixed with this update and also bugs that are still existing and if we go to the release notes of mac os 13 ventura beta 4 you see that you know you have some deprecations that are there and most of the resolved issues i have mentioned but you can see that they, we do have some known issues with this update some have to do with swift ui and also there is a known issue that is there that has to do with metal and also there's also 
another known issue that has to, to do with optical offline compiler so those are some of the issues that are here and quite a number of users ha are still reporting issues when it comes to hdr media playback but just to let you know most of the issues are mentioned in this update and it's good to see that mac os 12 beta 4 has more resolved issues than non issues so it's good to see that most of the issues are being washed out now something that i want to mention or show you actually when it comes to this update i did do geekbench scores just to see how much i get when it comes to this update and you can see here that on mac os 13 beta 4 i got a score of 1344 for single core and 8405 for multi core now going forward i might be comparing this to the next beta which will be mac os 13 beta 5 just to see whether our performance is in increasing or degrading as this beta come out now that's mainly about it for me when it comes to this update let me know what you think about this update and if you do find some new features and changes do let me know also when it comes to when i think we could be seeing beta 5 of mac os 13 perhaps during this week of the 9th we could be seeing this update and when it comes to the official release of this update maybe sometime in september as apple usually does in september 2022 we could be seeing this update now other than that guys that's about it for me when it comes to this update stay safe and if you like this video definitely do leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next video